Alright, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakodash. That will honor to my elders and apostles, Great Millstone, Hope Rue, Well, Teach, Well, Being Great, Zone, Touch, Young Brothers, and Peace, Blessed, Old Four Elect, Full of Willem, Part of that Number, with the Brother Kodar, from Jimmy's Bear Chicago, come back on the video. This video is going to be entitled, The Importance of Healthy Roots. Alright, and this video is going to be, you know, on um, staying grounded in this thing, staying grounded in this truth. All right, because, you know, hey, that's going to get us out of a lot of temptation, man. You, when all hell break loose, you're not going to have your phone, man. All right. Hey, you never know. You, you might be without your sword. All right, hey, so you got to get these scriptures in your mind, man. All right, that goes with reading, you know, studying. There's a difference between reading and studying. All right, um, you know, just, yeah, just, just get it. Drill these scriptures in you, man. You know, because these, this is, hey, this is what you're going to have, man. You know. So, without further ado, I'm going to uh, go ahead and read this. It says, did you know that what you see above ground and your plants is really determined by what's hidden underground? What happens underground where the plants' roots live drive plant drives plant growth the bigger and healthier the root system, the bigger and healthier the plant. All right, so the found, a solid foundation can allow you to get to, to can allow for the Lord to deal with you on a deeper level and give you more understanding. It reveal more things to you. All right, it says, um, and that's not even a point I wanted to bring up, but um, it says many things. It says, what do healthy roots do? Many things. First, they provide the anchor needed to keep a a plant in place. All right, and that's that's what I want to bring out. All right, because uh, the roots help the plant uh, stay up. It helps it stay strong. All right, and if you have a solid root, a solid foundation is truth. All right, hey, then uh. uh Hey, then you, uh, uh, you know, then the Lord going to deal with you. All right, you going, well, what's that word? What's the proper word for it? Uh, it's all good. Point we already made. Um, I'm trying to put the right words together, but it's all good. But um, it's locking. All right. Um, so without further ado, I'm getting straight to the precept. This is... Matthew 7 and 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these saying of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. All right, and that rock is your house shy. All right, that chief cornerstone. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was found upon a rock. All right, it said the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew. All right, and be up on the house. And what does that represent? <laughs> the afflictions that you catch. You might lose your job. You might lose your, your your reliable transportation. You might lose your woman. You might have to sacrifice time away from your kids. You might lose your kids, man. You might face body body afflictions, man. All right, constant mental battles, man. You could just some brothers deal with more physical, you know, battles. Some brothers deal with more mental battles, man. You know. To every to every man his portion, you know. Me personally, you know, I you know, I deal with more of uh, 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 mental battles, man. You know, mm-hmm. it's I'm gonna read it over, and it said the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. It was founded upon a rock, man. It was solid. It was strong. It was unwaverable. All right. What is it like the three little pigs? All right, one built his house on straw or some shit like that. And one built it on uh it was sticks and the other one built it on bricks. And the big bad wolf, he he huffed and he puffed and he blew all two of them down, except the one made by bricks, man. Because that was a solid ass foundation. And he withstood it. He withstood the wind. And that's spiritual because the wind means destruction. We wanna withst- we wanna withstand the wind. We want a solid foundation. All right. 
So um, it says, verse 26 saying, Everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his head house upon the sand. All right? Hey, you build a sand a, a sand castle. Hey, <coughs> it, it, it could take a one drop of rain. It'll fuck the whole castle up. You could kick that shit, man. That shit is easily breakable. That represents someone with a a, 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 a foundation that's not solid. All right? They not rooted, man. They didn't start from the ground up. You know, from the little breakdowns to the big. You know, from the little things of conduct to the big. You know? And hopefully, you know, to the listeners, this video is edifying and receiving. All right? You can receive this through the Spirit of Power. How about Shemal Shah? It says, And the rain descended, and the floods came. And the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it, man. All right, because it wasn't rooted. All right, now if you go back to verse 25, it says, And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was found upon a rock. All right, so that was a solid foundation, man. This is verse 1, this 15 and 58. But therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast. Unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. We supposed to be steadfast, unmovable, man. Let's go into that word steadfast. It says, um, it was locking. Steadfast, steadfast, steadfast. Cause my internet on. It's all good. I don't know what the hell going on with this shit. But um, it said be steadfast, unmovable, man. You're supposed to be unmovable, unshakable. No matter what fucking happens, man. Just gonna say a just man fall at seven times, a complete amount of time, and he get his ass right back up. This is a wise man know when he slippeth. When he slippeth. Alright, it says a, 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 a threefold core is not easily broken. It says iron sharp a sharpened iron. All right, we supposed to be abounding and constantly growing. All right, so we can continue to fulfill uh, our lot in the ministry, man. All right, and you show your faith by your works, man. Just wanted to put that out there. It says, "Always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord." Hey, Hebrews six and ten. All right. The Most High is not a right to forget your labor of love. Nothing is going unnoticed, man. The Lord sees your sacrifices, man. All right. You got brothers traveling, you know, hours, you know, just to get to camp, giving brothers rides, man. You know, the 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 the, the discipline, you know, being, being on fire, you know, enduring the affliction. Hey, that's, hey, that's commendable, man. All right. So um, this is uh, Second Timothy three fourteen. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and this is the this is the things we learned, the proper doctrine. We're supposed to continue to this to the end, cause we have one hundred percent truth to get us the fuck up out, to get us uh, to get us salvation, man. We know everything we know to get us saved, man. All that too deep shit that these fucking two thirds be talking about, man. That that over deep shit, man. That shit ain't gonna get you fucking saved, man. You wasting your damn time. All right. It says, but continue down the things which thou hast learned, and be assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. All right. So this is the final precept before I end the video. It says. It says, put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, let's get that. Wiles of the devil. What? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, Ephesians 6 and... 
11. Let's go into that word wise, man. It says cunning arts, deceit, craft, trickery. So Satan try to play on your mind. Esau, hey, hey, shit, even Esau. With these false flags and shit like that, man, you got to stay rooted and grounded, man. All right? Hey, when Satan fuck with your mind, hey, you got to fight that shit, man. All right? If it's a thought, you know, uh, um, that's contrary to scripture, you know, that's how you, that's one telltale sign that uh that I use. It'd be like, oh, okay, this Satan fucking with me. All right. So you you gotta rebuke that spirit and keep it moving. Rebuke that spirit and keep it moving. Rebuke that spirit and keep it moving, man. Yeah, how should I rebuke Satan with the scriptures? All right. Hey, it's, say, say, uh, he's as a royal lion seeking whom he, whom he may devour. And guess what? How do you fight it uh, off Satan? By staying grounded and fighting him with the scriptures. All right. So, um, yeah, you know, Lord willing. Let me get that. There we go. Shit. <laughs> Call out y'all by smart shot. It says steadfast, firmly fixed in place. Not subject to change, in immovable. Hey, we like the like the elder brother Shakari said in our camp. We righteously stubborn, man. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Call Allah, y'all, by some shot, man, by some All right, double honors to the elders, apostle, great millstone. Lord willing, this video was edifying to the to the listeners. All right, shalom in the Bible ball.